guys we are in Taragoma which is about an hour south of Sitges and um, we are on our way south so we decided to stop here it's a huge Roman heritage in this town too just like in uh, Cartagena if you saw the vlog uh, when we were there so we're super excited to go and explore the city come on the Roman theater of Tarragona or the rest of it. It uh, was built in the first century and uh, it was in use until the end of the second century. Then it took all the way up to the 19th century before it was rediscovered again. Um, unfortunately in the 20th century it suffered a lot of damage which means that it's not that much left of it today but the really cool thing is that they want to uh, rebuild it and make it a recreational area for the public. Apparently you can go on guided visit, it's free at 11 o'clock uh, every day, but you have to book in advance. We finally found the famous Taragona Amphitheater. And we're gonna go inside and have a look now. So, normally it costs two, three euros to come in here. I can't remember exactly. And uh, we came down now, and we were so lucky. It's some European happy day today. So, uh, the one day of the year that it's free entry, and we came here. So, yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah! Yeah, <laughs> the amphitheater was built in the early 2nd century and it underwent many changes in the next century. It was used for gladiator performances and had space for 12,000 spectators. Between the 6th and the 7th centuries, a basilica was built in the amphitheater to commemorate the death of martyrs Bishop Fructosus, Augurius and Eulogius we were all burnt alive on January 21st in year 259. In the 12th century, a new church dedicated to St. Mary of the Miracle was built over it. You can see the remains of the structure forming a large cross. The vegan cafe where we had planned to have lunch was closed, but we found this amazing gem, vegan gourmet food, and we gave it 10 out of 10 stars. outside the cathedral. Seems like the cathedral is closed but it's okay when we can walk around here then. And Mohammed found a Moroccan place and he's so happy. Yeah. yeah. 
What have we found? Otters. We also found out that it's not a Moroccan place, it's actually Algerian. And even Mohammed thought it was Moroccan because it looks so alike. Yeah. <laughs> It was really nice uh, after having a tea and having a chat with uh, Mohammed, which owned the Algerian uh, tea house. We walked all around the cathedral and wow, I really recommend going for a walk around there because it's so beautiful everywhere. And uh, yeah, now we're probably just gonna go for a walk around the old town. Maybe we'll come across some more Roman ruins or maybe not before we are heading further down the side. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> Jewish quarter and uh, this was a house built in uh, the 13th to 14th century and was one of the most important Jewish houses. <laughs> Sorry, Musama House. The weather just turned really crappy, so I'm really glad we we're on our way back to the van now. It started to rain, not too much, and it started to get really windy, so we are headed back now. We just managed to escape the rain and get back to the van and uh, now Mohammed is preparing some coffees for us for the road so uh, we're gonna leave Tarragona for now I really hope you like the, uh, the job <laughs> the vlog uh, we really really enjoyed the city and uh, we're excited to see where we end up next because we have no idea <laughs> see you next time adios